Hi everybody, we got a, another questions video for you today. We wanted to put together this video to answer some questions we see every once in a while on our website and social media pages. Uh, sometimes it's easier to do a video than it is uh, to put everything in an email. So one question uh, we see from time to time, uh, people will ask us, uh, the front end seems like it has a lot of play in it with the car out of the box. Uh, sprint car, midget, EDM, they're all kind of the same. We do this for a reason. You can see that this is what they're talking about, like the play in the tire back and forth here. So we do this for a couple reasons. Uh, first one is all the parts on this car are very small. Uh, servos are small. And we want to make sure that the front ends don't have any bind in the steering side to side. If they have any bind, what's going to happen, you're going to turn to the left or the right, and it's not going to return back to center. So we wanted to make sure that everything was nice and free so that the no users had any issues with that. Now there is a couple things you can do to help with that. Uh, first one is the kingpins uh, screw on the top of the spindles right here. Sometimes the uh, our, our vendor that does these cars for us, they don't get this screw completely tight. So what you can do is you can turn that screw in until you feel some resistance. And actually, before you start to do that, make sure you disconnect the drag link from the left side uh, steering block over here. It'll make it a lot easier for this process to make sure your steering turns left to right easy. So you'll just want to keep tightening that down until you feel a little bit of resistance in the side to side uh, motion of the tires. And once you feel a little bit of resistance, then just back that screw off just ever so slightly. You may have to do it a couple times until you, it's really free side to side. And you can see already that that took a lot of the, the rock out of the tire. The other thing you can do is when you tighten the wheel nuts down, we recommend just, just get to those snug and then just back them off just ever so slightly until the tire just rolls nice and free. And you can see by doing those two steps, that took a lot of the rock out of the front tires. Now we also make a solid kingpin set for the car that you can put in here and we do recommend that if you're going to race the cars. The re a lot of people ask us why don't you just put that in from the factory. We don't do that because you've got to make sure that you oil those kingpins, the fitment between the kingpin and the axle. If you don't, they will gall eventually. So we know that a lot of new users are not going to have access to that or may not do that maintenance. So we didn't want that to happen to them and then they couldn't use their car. So. Try these, few, try these few steps and uh, that should take a lot of play out. And now other thing you want to make sure is if you do uh, mess with this screw for the tie rod going across, make sure you don't tighten that down too tight. If you have that too tight, you'll get a lot of bind in the front end as well. If you get any bind in there, the same deal. You'll, you'll, uh, you won't be able to, the car won't want to return to center. Um, the other thing uh, we have seen a couple times the spring, we're going to use our Silver Crown car, the spring behind this servo saver right here, sometimes that spring gets soft for whatever reason during the manufacturing process, uh, if it's in a soft piece of wire or whatever. So what we recommend doing is just take the, the screw loose and this whole assembly will come off. And what we recommend doing is just stretch this spring out a little bit. And the easiest way to do that is just take a pair of needle nose and just grab one end of it and you can usually just grab with your fingers and just pull. So you're going to just make that spring longer and that's going to provide more tension on the servo saver action here. So just stretch that out, put that back on, put the screw back in. And when you do put this screw back in, make sure that you don't over tighten that screw. Make sure that when you run this screw down with your with your Allen driver, you go kind of slow, and once you feel it stop, just stop right there. If you go too far, you're going to strip that screw out, and you're going to need a new servo. The other thing, uh, we do have a solid servo arm for the optional Metal Gear servo. One thing that we've seen a couple people do on these, when they get the screw on here, they go to tighten the screw up, and they just crank down on that screw. Well, what that does is that compresses this entire assembly and the back side of this servo arm will start rubbing on the servo itself, the servo case. So if you don't go too tight, it's going to rub there and it's going to drag and you're going to have the same problem. We recommend just tight that screw down until it's just, just barely tight and that's it. You don't need to go any farther. If you think you got it too tight, just back it off a little bit, just run it down until you feel some resistance and that's good enough. Uh, another question we get is uh, putting the battery in. When you do the battery and the five cell battery in the cars, it's a little tight for the first few times that you do it, a little, little uh, cumbersome. So when you go to put it in, make sure it's plugged in. Put it in there just like this. 
push it down and what you're going to want to do over here where the wire comes out of the battery just tuck that down in there and then you want to tuck that wire in front of these two ridges right here the door stops and then just tuck the connector down in just like that you want the connector up and down so it'll fit in there and then that way the door will close nice and flat you don't have any obstruction and it'll be uh be easy to do uh, the other thing, we covered this in the other video about getting the Nerf bars off. We still get that question from time to time. The Nerf bars are friction fit, so when you go to take those off, they're going to be a little bit tight. We recommend just putting your fingers in here and then just, just kind of pry your fingers together. Use your fingers to push, to push apart, and that will just pop that loose. They get tight in the cage here when you, when you uh, first go to take them out. Um, so, and the other thing is, too, when you go to put these back in, when you have the Nerf bar out, we'll pull this one out a little bit. When you go to push these in, don't just push on both sides really hard or push on one side. Put your finger or your thumb down by where it goes in and support the cage a little bit there and then just press the Nerf bar in. Do the same in the back. If you push on these too hard, there's no support across there. So that you, if you push these too hard, you're going to push on the cage and you could have a tendency to break the cage right there. So make sure you don't just push on those too hard. The other thing... Um, that we, you know, we get from time to time, a lot of people say, well, the suspension feels really tight in the car when it's brand new. And we, they are very, they are a little bit tight when you, when you first get them. Uh, we do that uh, to make sure that nothing's moving around and, and all that. So the radius rods, um, those are, that's, we got a video on how to loosen those up a little bit. Uh, it's not too bad if you're just running the car in the street. You probably won't need to do this, but if you are racing the car, this is a good tuning tip. You can take a like a pair of needle nose and you can like squeeze the end of these radius rods just a little bit and there again watch the video that we have on our website and youtube channel for that it shows you how to do that because if you go too far on that you'll you'll uh, crush the end of that and you'll have to get new radius rods so watch that video the other video is on the shocks these shocks have a little o-ring in them they're just a friction o or friction shock that o-ring will get dry so you need to put a little bit of lube on that we got a video on how to take the shock apart and lube that up uh, so make sure you watch those, especially if you're racing. When we uh, race the cars, we try to make sure, check the radius rods every week, and we do the shocks every week as well. The, the easiest way to check the radius rods, just pop the shocks off on the bottom. If you can push the suspension up and it just falls back down by itself, the radius rods are good to go. Uh, same thing with the shocks. If you feel a shock is binding up, just take it off and uh, lube the O-ring. If the O-ring gets pinched sometimes, you may have to replace the O-ring, and we have those on our website. So that's all for this video. If you have any other questions, uh, hit us up on our website email or social media pages. Uh, if you have any questions on what we went over today, uh, let us know, and we'll get back to you right away. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the cars. Uh, let us know uh, uh, if you have any questions. Make sure you keep watching our website and social media pages for more new products to come, and thanks for watching.